Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add mixed numbers. So right here, we have the mixed numbers 5 and 2 thirds and 4 and 1 half. And to add these two, what we're first going to do is convert both of them into improper fractions because that will make it much easier to add. So let's convert 5 and 2 thirds into an improper fraction. Well, if you haven't already, go watch our video on converting mixed numbers to improper fractions because it's really important in not only adding mixed numbers but also subtracting, multiplying, and even dividing mixed numbers. So our first step is to multiply 5 and th 3, so the whole number with the denominator, and that's 15. And then we're going to add this to our numerator. 5 times 3 is 15, 15 plus 2 is 17, and that's going to be our new numerator. And then we're going to keep our old denominator as is. So this in mix, this in improper fraction form is 17 over 3. And now we're going to add this with, let's convert this into an improper fraction. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9 over, we're going to keep this the same, so 2. And now we're going to simply add these two just like normal fractions. So 3 times 2 is 6, that's our denominator. 17 times 2 is 34, plus 9 times 3 is 27. 34 plus 27, that's, seven, that's 61. And this is our answer to this in improper fraction form. And now we can actually convert this into a mixed number. And if you haven't already, go watch our video on converting improper fractions into mixed numbers. To convert this, let's write this down right here, 61 over 6. We're going to find out the most number of times 6 can go into 61, with it being less than 61. Well, 6 times 11, that's 66. That's pretty close to 61, but that's more than 61. We want to find a value that's less than 61. 6 times 5, or sorry, 6 times 10, that's 60. That's less than 61, and that's the most amount of times 6 can go into something with it being less than 61. So 10 is our whole number. And we keep our old denominator as is, so 6 is the same right here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to find the remainder. So 10 times 6, that's 60. We subtract that from 61, so that would just be 1. So our answer in mixed number form is 10 and 1 sixth. Now let's do another. Now let's do another problem. 4 and 1 thirds plus 3 and 3 fourths. Remember, our first step is to convert these two into improper fractions. So let's convert 4 and 1 thirds into an improper fraction first. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. So 13 is our new numerator. We keep our old denominator. So 3 plus 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. Over, we keep our old denominator. So 4. And this is equal to well, let's add these two. 3 times 4 is 12 over 13 times 4. That's a little tricky. That's 52 plus 15 times 3. That's also pretty tricky. That's 45. And now we're going to add these two. 52 plus 45, that's 97. So our answer in improper fraction form is 97 over 12. And that's our answer. 